Hey everyone, James Brandon here. In this On One Short Clip, we're gonna take an almost finished image from Cotton Ball Basin, which is in Death Valley National Park. And we're gonna use luminosity masking to kind of separate different parts of the image and really bring out the parts that we want. So let's get right to it. Okay, here we have the image inside of effects. We've already done a few different things as far as like color enhancement and tone enhancement, and we've messed with the sky a little bit. But now we want to focus on the foreground. So the first thing we're going to do is pull up a tone enhancer and we're going to get right into it by clicking this little gearbox right here and setting the blend mode to soften or soft light rather. And what that's going to do, you can see if we toggle this on and off, it just kind of takes what it, what it actually does is it takes the 50% are brighter pixels and makes them brighter, and the 50% are darker pixels and makes them darker. It kind of just adds contrast to the image, but it really does a good job of addressing the midtones too here, and that's what we're after. So what I'm trying to do is just darken the mud here, and we'll do the, the salt separately. So I need to create a mask that separates those for me. So the, uh, to accomplish that, I'll click the little mask icon here, which creates a mask for the tone enhancement uh, adjustment that I'm creating. And then I'll hit Lumen, which will create a luminosity mask. So I'll click View here and we'll see it. And of course, as most of you know, with masking, white reveals while black conceals. So we wanna create a mask where the mud, which is this brown, darker brown part, is being affected, which is gonna be white, and the salt, which is what we don't want to do, is going to be black. So to achieve that, we'll just hit invert, and there we go. So now we just need to kind of crunch everything down here to add a lot more contrast to the mask. And to achieve that, we'll go down here to the levels and window adjustments. So really the best thing to do here, in my opinion, is just to kind of play around with it and get it to where you want it. So right here, you can see that it's going to start creeping in from the sky above the uh, mountains there. That's the brightest part of the image. And then it's just gonna start bleeding into the rest of the image. And that's what we want. We want this black. And you'll see now that it starts creeping into the salt patterns. So probably like right around there. And of course you can go into the levels to play with that and see if you can get something a little bit more accurate. So it's kind of just this game that you have to play of going back and forth and trying to find the best result. So maybe like somewhere right around there is gonna be good. We can turn on the uh, image again by hitting view, and then we can toggle this on and off just like that. Okay, I think that actually looks pretty good for what we're trying to accomplish. All right, we'll turn that off, and now I'll hit add filter again. We'll do another tone enhancer, but now we're gonna try to address the salt, which is the opposite of the mud. So again, I'll go to curves just because it's kind of what I like doing and I'll pull up the highlights a little bit, get those salt patterns nice and bright, make sure I'm not blowing them out though. So probably like right around there. All right, we'll scroll back up, turn that on and off just to make sure we're making good change there. And then same thing, we're gonna hit that mask button, hit lumen, view, and now we don't have to invert it because that, this is what we want. We want the salt to be white. So again, I'll bring that window and just make sure that I'm creating a nice selection. All right. I wanna bring up those whites if I can. So maybe something like that. All right. All right, and it is a little bit of a back and forth. You just kind of play around with it. And then of course, if I don't want this to be applied to the sky, I can bring up my brush. I will hit uh, the X key to go to paint out. And then I'll just go across the sky here because we don't want to brighten up that sky anymore. All right, I've got magic brush here turned on, so I'll turn that off. Okay, hit view. All right, and then we'll turn that on and off and just see. So that's gonna be a more subtle 
change, but I think it still looked good. All right, we'll turn those off. All right, and then let's finish it off with a color adjustment. We'll go to color enhancer, and then I just wanna kind of play around with the, the white balance here. It's looking a little bit magenta, so I'll try to bring that back a little bit and correct it. So that's it guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. It's a, it's a quick down and dirty guide to how these luminosity masks work, but the key is just to get in there and play around with them and practice using those sliders and getting to where you can target some very specific parts of the image and then apply effects to them. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. See you later, bye.